In this lesson related to the introduction to trigonometry, we are going to be focusing on the two primary ways that angles are measured, and that is in radians and degrees. This circle on this very first slide has all of the major angles labeled in degrees and in radians, with the degrees being the one with the little degree symbol or the little circle. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on four main things. The first, you'll be able to define degree. Second, you'll be able to define radian. Third, you'll be able to mathematically convert from radians to degrees. And fourth and finally, you'll be able to mathematically convert from degrees to radians. But before we can talk about that, we need to have an understanding of what radians are and what degrees are. So let's start with the one that's a little bit less known, and that's radians. Radians are simply the ratio between the length of an arc and its radius. The arc length is given here in blue, and the radius is given in red. And all a radian is is just the measure of how long that ratio is. So don't worry too much about how to calculate that at this point. We're more focused on what basically a radian is. And again, it's just that ratio between how long the arc is, which is labeled in blue, compared to its radius, labeled in red. The one we're more familiar with is degrees. And degrees are simply a unit of measurement of angles, which represents how far around the circle that particular angle has gone. You'll notice that the circle here is labeled up into sections going in 10 degree increments because there's 360 degrees going all the way around the circle. So a degree is simply a measure of how far around the circle your particular angle has gone. And it's very useful to go between degrees and radians. And we're going to... These are the two formulas that you're going to use to convert from radians to degrees and from degrees to radians. To convert from radians to degrees, you take your value that is in radians and you multiply it by 180 divided by pi. To convert from degrees to radians, you take your value that's in degrees and you multiply it by pi over 180. So in our first example, we're going to be converting from radians to degrees. The question asks to convert pi over 6 into degrees. So your first step is we need to multiply pi divided by 6 into degrees. So you do that by multiplying it by 180 over pi, which is what we have right here on the screen. So you get pi divided by 6 times 180 divided by pi. Then we simplify the fraction. Remember, when multiplying two fractions, you multiply the two values on the top, and the two values on the bottom. So we end up with pi times 180, which gives us 180 pi on the top. And on the bottom, you get 6 times pi, which is 6 pi. So we end up getting 180 pi divided by 6 pi. To get your value in degrees, we simplify this fraction. 180 divided by 6 is 30. And since we have a pi on the top and the bottom of the fraction, the pi's cancel. So you're left with 30 degrees is our final answer. Now go on the other way. Let's say we wanted to convert 160 degrees to radians. We first multiply our value in degrees by pi over 180. So you have 160 times pi divided by 180. And then we simplify this fraction yet again. So we have 160 times pi divided by 180. Multiply the two values on the top to get 160 pi and just bring the 180 along. So we get 160 pi divided by 180. Simplify your fraction and you have your final value in radians, which is 8 pi divided by 9. It is important to know why we are actually doing this conversion back and forth. Degrees are more useful to us in kind of understanding more concrete values. We seem to have a better understanding that 30 degrees represents 30 degrees on a particular angle. While many people, if you ask them about that, they're not going to know what pi over 6 is, is easily. 
So degrees are very useful for us to have a tangible understanding of what's happening in a particular situation. Radians, however, are much more useful and actually simplify calculations of quite a bit more in higher levels of mathematics. So it's important to understand that while degrees are more useful to us now in our understanding, radians will be much more useful for us in doing more complicated things. And this concludes our lesson on radians and degrees.